Apple says their new AirPods can translate languages instantly into your ear. If that's true, my mom's about to lose her job. Oh no. Today, she's going head to head with Apple AirPods. Now, she's not just any translator. She was a diplomatic interpreter in Moscow during the Soviet Union when Americans weren't even supposed to be there. And now she owns a language company, managing thousands of projects a year where her team has even interpreted for President Barack Obama. Here's how the game works. Level one, tourist mode. Ordering food, asking for directions, simple everyday stuff. Level two, friends and family mode. Real conversations, emotions, jokes, even catching up with your long lost cousin in Mexico who skipped your wedding. Ooh. Level three, crazy critical mode, life or death, reporting a crime, talking to first responders, explaining allergies to a doctor. One mistranslation here from AirPods could literally cost a life. So let's get ready to play. Level three, critical mode. This is life or death. If AirPods mistranslate something, the consequences could kill someone. Help, I just See. saw a man run into a building with a knife. There's people screaming everywhere. Cálmese, cálmese, señorita, ¿qué aspecto tenía el hombre? ¿Puede describirlo? He looked crazy, like he was going to hurt someone. He was waving the knife around. ¿Y el hombre dijo algo? ¿Qué gritó? And the man said something that he shouted. I didn't tell you that he said anything. No, te hice una pregunta. ¿El hombre dijo algo? I didn't ask you a question. ¿Qué gritaba? The man said something that screamed. I don't know what you're saying, but we don't have a lot of time. He looked crazy like he was going to hurt someone. He was screaming, they'll pay. ¿Y dónde lo vio por última vez? Por favor, deme la ubicación precisa. Where did you last see him? Please give me the exact location. He was running into that bank over there on the corner, and a lot of people are just screaming, are you going to help them? Bueno, necesito comunicarme con la jefatura de policía para que envíen un equipo SWAT. I need to contact the police headquarters to send a SWAT team. Okay. I mean, that kind of took like five minutes, so I hope the SWAT team's on its way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It just kept on messing up what you were trying to say. Unless I knew context of the conversation that we're talking about right now, I think I would be completely lost. It wasn't picking up that we were, I was asking you questions. No, it, it was stating things incorrectly. Words have different meanings depending on context. And, and trying to assume, it's so funny. This is how LLMs work, right? Like it's, it's trying to predict the next likely word, it's doing that. That's a good point. And it also, I've noticed that when it makes a mistake early, it grows the mistake yeah. a little bit. Which is a problem with LLM. Right, that's really interesting and kind of a horrible problem. It took so long that somebody could have been dead. I mean, that guy with the knife would have gotten through it's wherever he where, wanted to go. Wherever he wanted to go. Right, yeah. and when I asked you where was he, was last time that you saw him, it's three minutes later that we found out the answer to that. Definitely not instant and, uh, not translation in your ear. It, for sure. It's like a 10 second lag, at least. It's like catching one out of every four words that you're saying. And I also feel like because of some of the emotion and speed that we're introducing into this round, which is typical in a critical yeah. situation, it is struggling more. Level two, friends and family mode. This is what most people want the AirPods for. Real conversation, sarcasm, inside jokes, emotions, talking to your in-laws that speak another language. There's so many steps here to get it like going. I guess it's just ridiculous. Okay. Hija, no puedo creer que te has perdido la boda de tu prima. I was definitely sick that day. I'm so sorry, but also I just didn't really want to buy her a present. Ajá, ah, pretextos, siempre pretextos. Los regalos de boda no importan. Lo que importa es tu presencia. Yeah, but she doesn't care about me anyway. Y pero cómo pudiste ser? Tan grosera. La pobre está tan triste. Llorando diariamente. Su propio padre no apreció en su propia boda. It's interesting. It looks like they're translating different words. Like it's it's not picking up the same words. Did you notice that? Yes, I am surprised by that. And I wonder what 
is going on there. Yeah, it's like, so for context for anyone watching, the transcript that is going on her phone versus mine are slightly different, which makes me think that it's actually using the microphone of each separate phones and like recording it separately, assuming that it's gonna hear everything the same. Do you know what I mean? They're using two separate audio inputs and going from there. And creating two separate transcripts. Right. Which makes no even more, sense. It's even more room for error. <laughs> right? Because it's like, if, if you're closer to a phone and my phone doesn't hear you the same, it's gonna interpret it a completely different way. Yeah, that's a to total that. surprise. That's completely makes no sense. So that I wonder what's happening there. No sense. Honestly, I don't, like, what do you even think about that? Did the back and forth just like kill the vibe entirely? Absolutely feel that that emotion that we were trying to transmit was not at all in the audio that we were getting. We were getting- Daughter. <laughs> we, She's heartbroken. <laughs> we were getting a sweet, um, generic Spanish speaking voice that was not transmitting what we were in trying to say to each other, at least not the gravity or the depth of it. We still were getting the words for the most part. I don't even know if like it was getting the words and that's important and all but like it, it didn't feel natural by the way like fun fact this only works for four languages apple right, like no. didn't even disclose that so it only works for spanish portuguese french and german i think mm -hmm. and what i'm hearing here is castilian spanish spain spanish yeah which is which is which is fine, fine. but it's like, still it's interesting yeah because there's a lot of different dialects of spanish i noticed in mine it was saying like bali for example yes, bali. when i lived in barcelona for a while like you only say that bali. in spain right, correct right but but it is what it is now pause i know everyone's probably sitting there thinking it's just words right like what's so special about this if it's getting the words through it's good enough mm -hmm. mom what is so ridiculous to you about that idea idea as a professional translator? Well, there's two things I think really going on. First of all, words are actually a byproduct of what we are feeling and what we are thinking and what we are trying to transmit. So words in and of themselves are really just these little units and words can be translated properly and completely lose meaning. That's not really what's happening here. We're still getting meaning in these early scenarios. But what I think is really important to point out is that this technology, when I was first working with it, I do actually feel this is going to be a disruptive technology okay. at some point. I actually first thought, thought of twist. it. I thought of it like it's a cell phone, a different thing that becomes part of the fabric of society. However, you really have to separate the use into two categories, personal versus professional. Mm -hmm. And when I say disruptive, I mean on the personal level. People will fall in love and get married because of this technology. You think? I, I do. I now, will they stay married? because of this technology, no. This is enough <laughs> to get you in love. I feel like it's enough to make those initial the high level spark start flying and I think that it could be enough to start a relationship but then we start digging under the ground and going into the roots I'm not sure that the marriage is going to last when we move into the professional aspect here and how we are evaluating this as professional linguists I have an entirely different take on this mm -hmm. this technology to me feels like a poor learner of a second language that's mm -hmm. there helping you someone who knows two languages and they can help you through but as far as being on a professional level, anything that you might need for life, liberty, or the pursuit of serious happiness, I would not put that in my world. Here to bring a little bit back to normal people mm -hmm. speak here, right? right. Because I, I'm not a linguist. I have worked in the language industry alongside of you. I don't even know if I feel like this is helping me as somebody that doesn't know a language. Your arguments focused a little bit on will this replace translators? That's to me already clear that that's not true. I'm not even feeling like it's enhancing my interaction with you at all. And the way that these were pitched was a magical live device. conversation right. translation, AI translation. We're done. We don't need right. translators. True. Goodbye. You're out of a job. Yeah. I wish you guys could hear it. It just is so awful. I will never buy this for AI <laughs> translation. The whole point of the language industry is to increase language access, mm -hmm. to allow more people to communicate with each other. We need to be very clear, like AI and Google Translate provided that. It allowed us to have 
interact mm, in that foreign absolutely. country that I know not a single word. And that's a good thing. Right. People really need to understand when you are talking about human translators, there's two or three different levels of content that we need to be looking at. Right. Your Facebook post being automatically translated or, or even your YouTube dubbing. Great. But that's great. That's overall a good thing. No one's gonna lose their job if there's a, a wrong word there, even on Netflix. Go into like tier two. Let's say you have a, a company and you're trying to reach a different market. You could lose clients that way. You could insult people. Like it could I've, wind up in a lawsuit when it comes to where professionals are used. Level one, the warm up wrong. Hi there. Can I see the menu, please? Claro que sí. Aquí tiene. Usted quisiera pedir algo? What's the most popular dish here? Este, la paella de mariscos está muy rica. Es lo que más pide la gente. Okay, I'll try that and a black coffee, please. Perfecto, entonces ya se lo traigo. Yo swallow it? No, dije ya se lo traigo. Now you're lost in a new city. Can AirPods get you to where you need to go? Excuse me, could you tell me where the train station is? Claro, claro que sí. Está a unas cinco cuadras. Camine derechito y luego a la esquina gire la, a la izquierda. I'm sorry, did you say it was four blocks then turn left? No, no dije eso. Dije cinco cuadras. Kind of as a reflection. Please. Sorry, I'm not doing so well. No, no, no. Don't, don't do that. We're reflecting now. Okay. You're not seeing. This is, this is light. Okay. When you do a, a, a do one of my, my dances. There you go. <laughs> we got, it runs in the family. Okay. So I think. What is so annoying, we're just having a very basic interaction and it has such a bad delay and I'm mm -hmm. listening to you say I, it in right. Spanish. I'm trying to hear it in the AirPods. It sounds like the most mechanical machine that you've ever heard in your life. Like yes. there's like, I don't say it's not even emotion, but it's like glitchy. It's like, hello, uh, he... how are you doing? Seafood paella. Like it's like, <laughs> it's like not very good. What about the translation side? Did it get it through? It gets the gist of things. It's understanding things generally well, but it winds up making mistakes that a human wouldn't make. There is just a certain line between knowing what someone means to say when you're a human and knowing what actually comes out of their mouth. I think that the speech to text actually would have been a lot right. more precise. I guess this is a misunderstanding about the technology here. It's not speech directly to speech. What it's doing is it's converting your speech into text and then reconverting that into speech. Right. So there's almost like this kind of middle layer here. Which means there's more room for errors to be introduced. True. There's two more levels right. of errors there. I was expecting it to be better. I feel like it is. Well, point. I feel like everyone uses the phrase better than nothing. I think it's yeah. better than nothing. From one more kind of technical parameter, for us to be having this bad conversation, we both need a pair of AirPods mm -hmm. that are updated, and we both need the latest software version, <laughs> which right. I didn't want to update because I didn't want this liquid glass situation. Yes. So I had to use a friend for this, right? So it's really assuming a lot of technical advanced software is at your Absolutely. disposal. Well, AirPods couldn't clear any of the levels, and that means only one thing. We're unlocking the secret round. Now, Apple made it look like live conversations work in every language, but that was smoke and mirrors. It only works in four, Spanish, French, German, and Portuguese. So what happens if you need another language? You get what Apple calls live translation, basically texting back and forth on training wheels. And the truth is that's what most people would actually end up using. So for the final test, welcome to the secret round. Russian roulette. We're testing the training wheel mode with Russian. Meet Alex. He's Ukrainian, got his master's degree in maritime law in Kiev, and now he lives in the US co-founding a startup building luxury yurts. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. So we have to both look at the same phone for texting wheel mode, but basically we have to read it back and forth. Hi Alex, how do you like Edinburgh so far? Добрый день, uh, Edinburgh, uh, прекрасный город, мне здесь очень нравится. Немного прохладно. That's awesome to hear. Why do you think it's cool? Do you like the food? Do you like the nature? Do you like the people? What about that accent? С этим есть проблема. Мне очень тяжело иногда понимать акценты здесь, особенно люди с Глазго. Достаточно тяжело с ними общаться. If you had to tell people one reason to not come to Scotland, what would it be? 
Я думаю, когда здесь штормит, здесь не очень приятно находиться. I see. Okay. All right, so how do you think it did? Well, it's actually did fine. I think it uh, has an issue of translating прохладно, because uh, it's, uh, it's, you can say cool, but it also can be like it's a bit of cold here. Mm -hmm. So I, I wasn't sure why it's choose to say cool. It made it look like you were saying that the city was cool, but not like temperature. Yeah. So, so I think this training wheel round did the best out of all of them. Uh, Russian rule <laughs> did the best. I think there's a lot of reasons for that. There was no delay in the ear. You weren't listening to somebody and then listening to the text and looking at your phone, trying to figure out if the translation was correct. With the training wheel version, you have to constantly click the microphone in order for it to work. If you make any delays, it stops. So that's a little annoying, but it's getting the point across. I feel like if I randomly met you on the street and wanted to be your friend, we could communicate. The intention is that you're sharing a phone. So this would basically replace you using Google Translate for the same reason, but I don't know if it's better. It's usually when you are bored and you're asking a question for people who doesn't speak English, you show your phone and here you can just speak without them typing what yeah, you need to say. that's true. But Google Translate lets you do that too. I guess really the only benefit I'm seeing right here is it kind of puts it in this like chat interface. So it's assuming a, a question and response type style versus Google Translate, you have to like delete it and then like retype a whole thing so it keeps the context, but. And yeah, maybe you don't want to use a Google. Yeah, no, maybe you don't want to use Google. Apple phone. Yeah, no, Apple, well, I guess speaking about the tech for a little bit more, this is mainly running with an on-device model. So it means like this data is not leaving your phone at all. For some really weird edge cases or difficult terms, it does hit a, a cloud model. But I think I read that it was 3 billion parameters is running on a local model on your phone, which is really, really, really big. So if you're thinking about privacy, I mean, that would be good. And you don't want to hit Google, I guess. But but Google's models are arguably the best, if you were to ask me. Maybe that's why the translation is so bad, because they're not using Google models. Well, this was really interesting. I think that every level was a little bit surprising. I think it gives a little good perspective on the fact that I am not afraid of losing anything. <laughs> <laughs> Apple, I just do have one question for you. How did you test this? Like, did you just have people like go into a studio and you're like, hello, give me the menu. And it was like a one-to-one -one translation. You're like, yeah, let's ship this. Like, yeah. this is good enough to go. <laughs> like, well, it does work on that level, you know. I think if you did, what we'll talk to it? Like, hello, my name is Veronica. Mm -hmm. I work in AI. It, it works okay. I think it would work okay. Yeah. But, you know, I think that would drive me absolutely <laughs> blood mad so i don't think that's gonna work for me <laughs> so here's my final verdict airpods aren't good enough to replace translators they aren't even close they stumble on the easy stuff and in critical moments they really fail but maybe that's not even the point what today showed me is just how much we don't think about translation and take this entire profession for granted it's an industry that keeps governments running translates your experience with websites when you don't understand the language it was written in these are the people carrying jokes cultures and sometimes life for deaf information across languages. And no matter how flashy the ads are, AirPods aren't replacing that anytime soon. So no, AirPods are not replacing translators. And after today, I wouldn't really trust it to even order my lunch. Guys, please comment, like, and subscribe what you thought about this test if you liked it and would like me to do more tests connecting two real professions like translation. And please take the time to thank both Bridget and Alex for participating in this crazy idea with me. I am linking their amazing companies in the description below if you want to learn about either one of them.